Good morning, South. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance with the homecoming king and queen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll hear more from them later in the show. Good morning once again, and welcome to the Falco Report for this Friday, the 28th of October, a day one. I'm Dana Jarvis. And I'm Nia Adlam. Among the most exciting events of Spirit Week were the junior and senior high pep rallies. David Providence has the story. Last Friday, various pep rallies solidified South school spirit. Building up to the spectacular win at Saturday's homecoming game, South students and faculty gathered outside for the junior and senior high pep rallies, showing off their Falcon pride. Compared to previous pep rallies, this year's pep rally was student-driven, as leaders of student government and captains of various sports teams took on roles of announcing the events. A great team and a great season this year, and I can't tell you how proud I am of these boys. The pep rallies consisted of plenty of competitive games, including Steal the Bacon and Tug of War. Get set, tug! In addition, South's cheerleading squad, kickline team, and step squad were able to put their hard work on display through exciting performances. Finally, the marching band performed a medley from Episode 7 of Star Wars. Overall, the pep rallies were a tremendous success and the students had an incredible time displaying their spirit. And for the Falcon Report, I'm David Providence. As Spirit Week rolled to an end, South's senior class partook in several activities to commemorate their time here at South. On Friday during their fourth period class, seniors gathered outside on the open field and stood together inside the outline of the 23 to take their senior picture. Seniors then flocked to the bleachers with their peers to be photographed with their respective elementary schools ranging from Buck, Forest, Brooklyn Avenue, Carbonero, and Outer Streamers. Later following their signed lunch periods, the seniors were rewarded with a barbecue hosted by the South's very own staff for their efforts throughout high school. Quality time was spent amongst the seniors as they bonded over grilled food and refreshments. Truly a heartwarming act of kindness for this year's senior class. Junior and senior high students put on their dancing shoes this past Thursday and Friday to enjoy their respective homecoming dances. On Thursday night, junior high students piled into the cafeteria at 7 p.m. to commence the festivities. The attendees indulged in the delicious snacks provided and then took the opportunity to dance and socialize with peers. The following night, senior high students lined up at a South's main entrance in anticipation and waited to hopefully acquire a lucky raffle ticket. Throughout the event, students danced, talked, and took pictures with friends. Towards the end of the night, after announcing the raffle winners, the homecoming court gathered up in the hallway to make their sensational entrances. While the onlooking crowd cheered seniors Trinity Smiley and Sophia Nogueira as homecoming king and queen. Soon after the crowning, the homecoming dance came to a rightful end, truly making it a night to remember. Homecoming day closed off homecoming week last Saturday. The clan performer Asada Opam was on the scene. Homecoming is underway with festivities, the game, and so much more. Before the game kicked off, the homecoming parade rallied around the track, consisting of South's athletic teams, the Marching Falcons, and representatives from honor societies and other clubs. The end of the march saw the class councils unveiling their finished homecoming banners, where the winners of junior high and senior high classes were announced. The class of 2023 then had the opportunity to walk with their parents under an arc of balloons as the senior walk showed off South's senior class and their activities. At 2 p.m. sharp, the main event commenced the homecoming game, facing South Falcons against Lawrence's Golden Tornadoes. <laughs> South's triumphant 34-8 win definitely resulted in vehement crowd excitement. <laughs> the game excitement was matched with the spectacular halftime performances by the kickline, cheerleading, and step squad teams, as well as the performance by the marching Falcons. <laughs> During the game itself, the audience had access to a wide array of snacks and apparel by the PTSA, Parents Club, and various class councils. For the Falcon Report, I'm Isad Opam. When the Falcon Report returns, we'll talk much more about the homecoming court, but first, a bird's eye view of the fall season. The Falcon Report will be right back.
I feel like I should be doing something today. Is it my hairdo? Do the do. But it's not that. What should I be doing? To do or not to do? Maybe it's the do point. It's been kind of human. I know there's something to do. A duty I must do. Oh, oh it's my K-Club dues. Do or do not. There is no try. Be sure to pay your Key Club dues on My School Bucks by November 1st. Oh, Hansel, did you remember the bread? Oh, yeah, Gretel. I didn't remember the bread. Oh, Hansel, it's a candy house. Oh, let's go in for Halloween. Welcome, welcome to my house of candy. <laughs> Please come into my oven for lots of candy. Hey, you said that South has some new royalty, right? Oh uh, yeah, they were crowned at last Friday's dance. I bet they were pretty excited. Well, the fact reports Emily Nothder from up with them to find out. Emily? I'm joined now with this year's homecoming king and queen, Trinity Smiley and Sofia Nogueira. So, how's it feel to be named homecoming king and queen? I'm just so lucky and grateful to have such a huge support system here at South, and I'm so happy to be uh, making history here with Trin along my side. Um, it feels amazing, honestly. Um, it was definitely, like I said, something that stood out, and I'm glad that I won alongside Sophia. Again, it wouldn't be possible with her, and through the love and support that I've gotten through everyone. Um, the energy was just amazing. It felt great all of homecoming night, and it was just a great experience. So I'm glad I was able to break that barrier down. And Trinity, you're South's first female homecoming king. Can you talk to us about that? Um, I just want to say I'm extremely grateful for all the love and support that I gained throughout the way of this whole nomination and through the court in general. Um, it would have not been possible without the support from my peers, from my teachers, from my friends, from everyone, from Sophia, the homecoming queen. Um, I'm glad that I was able to break a stereotype, break the barrier as a stepping stone for South for any younger kids or any, any younger grades who, you know, feel like they want to step out of the ordinary, step out of the normalcy. And why do you think your peers nominated you and then voted for you again? Well, as class president, I feel like already I am pretty well liked, have good leadership skills, so I think that transferred over into uh, me being nominated for the homecoming court and eventually as a uh, homecoming queen. Um, I feel like, again, um, as something that stood out different, because it's not every day that you see a girl running for homecoming king. I feel like as the first uh, to win at South, that's definitely a reason why people voted, because they just want to see something out of the normal, out of the ordinary. And what will be your first royal proclamation? Well, I'll continue doing my presidential duties as a class president of 2023, so I'm going to continue supporting and uplifting my class. My first role of proclamation would be to definitely step out of your comfort zone, you know, don't be afraid to do something new, try something new. Um, it's going to be possible that you face many setbacks. I faced many setbacks throughout this whole process that definitely discouraged me at some points, but honestly, and then, it's your motivation that keeps you going. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and just be you. Thank you so much for joining us. Back to you in the studio. It's been feeling kind of soggy, hasn't it? Yeah, the humidity has been pretty high. Think that will change anytime soon? Let's turn to Graciela Alvarez in our weather department to find out. Graciela? Well guys, I think it's safe to say that the humidity of early last week has broken and this weekend's weather will feel as crisp as a freshly picked fall apple. Today, we'll see temperatures drip dipping into the high 50s with partly sunny skies and noticeably breezy conditions. Saturday will continue to showcase lows in the mid 40s with a high of 62 and mostly sun. To round off the weekend, Sunday brings sim similar conditions with temperatures in the mid 60s yet with a chance of precipitation in the evening. This weekend is looking like a beautiful one so spend some quality time outdoors South. Back to you. There seems to be a lot of excitement on and off the field on Saturday. Let's turn to Alina Trzinski to hear all about the football team's big win. Alina? Homecoming day was a dominating showing by the football team. South opted to receive and made quick worth of the Lawrence defense, moving steadily down the field. Dion Mir capped off the drive and the Falcons had an immediate 7-0 lead. Into the end zone. Michael Hernandez had quite the day, throwing a pair of touchdown passes. Don Muir eventually found the end zone two more times and by halftime, the Falcons were up 20-8 after the performances by South's marching band, Kickline, Step Squad, 
and cheerleading team. Meeks added a 21-yard touchdown run, and Nick Parisi capped off yet another Falcon drive with a touchdown of his own. Nick Parisi! Following the end of the game handshakes, the Falcons took a well-deserved victory lap, celebrating a truly exciting homecoming win. And that's sports. That's all for this edition on the Falcon Report. For Nia Adlam, I'm Dana Jarvis. Have a great weekend, South. You know, South should really do an ASMR section. They should. We should start one right now. <laughs> <laughs>